Hi everyone, um, this is kind of a plea to humanity. Um, we see what's happening in Ferguson, Missouri with the militarization of the police and what they have done. They murdered a child. Um, they, in cold-blooded murder. This is not new for the police. It's just now going to be in your face. It's also not blue, new for the African-American community or a lot of uh, communities that have been of more poverty-stricken communities. However, the way this played out may have been a win for our side because the police didn't hear about it until the news picked up on the story and the journalists had been treated pretty bad. I know that in Seattle here a few years ago, a deaf man a wood carver was crossing the street when the light turned the right color downtown Seattle he was well known for his wood carvings had a little pocket knife in his hand and his wood and a policeman drove up on the scene and shot him repeatedly in the back there were witnesses Department of Justice um, feather um, the Department of Justice came in and, and I know that that's what they're asking for, you know, Rahm Emanuel or somebody to step in. Wrong. Don't let that happen. The community needs to step in and start overseeing their employees. Um, if you pay taxes, you pay for the police, you pay their salary. That hence makes them your employees. These employees have went rogue and been rogue for a long time. They, they're extortionists. They're murderers. They're thieves. They plant things on you. Um, the judges are in the same racket as them. I don't know what's happened to America, but it's it's been seen by a lot of us coming. Maybe this is the line in the sand. I hope so. I hope Americans everywhere stand up and say, no more of the militarized police. No more. They've been training you guys for this. I don't care where you've heard this from. You can just follow the money and the resources and see who's training them. Um, and I'll let you guys do that because the investigation will shock you. I'll leave some links. It was tried out on a place where there's bombings going on. You guys know where I stand on any genocide. Um, so I'll just go ahead and spit it out. Israel's been training our police. They've been helping militarize our police. I will leave links below. You can see it with your own eyes. They brag about how they tested it on the Arab peoples in Palestine. Whichever way you feel about that. What's been going on. Hamas is bad. It's funded by the Mossad. Um, the Mossad is bad. And they're training our police. So... I don't think anything through this government is going to happen except a pat on the back or he'll be moved to another police department. I mean, we can't even identify the cop. Our employee. We pay a salary. Our employee. Um, if I or you or I ran a business that way, imagine. Would you let your employees get by with crap like that? Absolutely not. What's well, time? It's time to put an end to it. There is solution. Citizen tribunals used to oversee. And I'm not talking about grand juries. Grand juries get bought off in a heartbeat. I am talking about citizens show up and they decide where their money is going to be spent. First thing you need to do is go to Ferguson or call and everybody re request a CAFR. That's a comprehensive annual financial report on the police. Find out where their money's going and who they're getting their money from. You'll find out that they're very wealthy. In our little county here, Grace Harbor County, the last time I looked at their CAFRs, 70% of it came from extortion or tickets, meaning that they're encouraged 
to write tickets for whether you're speeding or not or whether you're wearing a seat belt or not and the judge is obliged to side with the policeman because that's where they get their money so it's not a fair system judges need to go to citizen tribunals murders murder extortions extortion if you and I rob somebody we'd be in jail Police rob us through extortion tactics. They take it a raise. Citizen tribunals, every city, every state. I am so proud of the people of Missouri for not backing down. I think everyone should say, I stand with Missouri. I stand with the Palestinians fighting back. I stand with anybody fighting back oppression. And in America now, we have hit an all-time low. We are at, we're worse than Nazi Germany at this point. We are. It's, it's, it's mind-blowing if you have ever read real history books. We have, just, we're free-range chickens, and they're about to make us not free-range chickens anymore. We had the illusion of freedom. And now, well, with that militarized, now, and, and think about this, if the police can be militarized, so can we. Um, Obama said he was going to do this. I did a video the other day. I, maybe I'll use that clip at the end. I'm just saying I stand with any citizen that stands with Missouri. This isn't a race war. This is us versus them. It's always been us versus them. They've used race, religion, sex. Um, who you sleep with, everything to divide us. Drop all that crap because it's us versus them. And them is a corporation that's making a lot of money off of us and using that divide and conquer, that Hegelian dialect. Let's let it know, no, no, it ends. I stand with Missouri. I hope you do too. You actually, if you see anybody, an unjust has happened to anybody in the world, you need to stand up for them. The more voices that are heard screaming throughout the world, the outcome will be great. The squeaky wheel gets the grease. And the media needs to start. You know what? We could turn the media around. They may get fired. That's okay. We could finance some TVs or whatever, some media groups, not Alex Jones type. I'm talking about real journalists that'll stick their neck out there. And, uh, yeah. We could get the truth out. And it's time we did. Follow the money. Who's going to profit from this? And martial law, come on. You, these are your employees. They have no right. That governor, the mayor, they're your employees. They can't put you under a curfew. You can put them under a cure curfew. They're your employees. Remember that. Remember that. And it's time to fire them all and start over. I love everybody, but it's time and I think people are waking up. Maybe the vibration and the frequencies or the earth or something's happening, but it's starting to shake, rattle, and roll. And I like it because I think there's either going to be people that go one way or people that go the other, but I don't think there'll be any fence sitters anymore. I think you don't have a choice now. And uh, I stand with the, the people who are, I stand with the guys that are being treated unjustly because I know how you feel. Um, and right now, Missouri, what's happening in the United States of America, we stand with you. Do not back down. They're your employees. Don't let them try to tell you what to do. You tell them what needs to be done. And I saw a provocateur on one of the live streams throw something and try to catch a business on fire. And I saw the activists put the fire out. Bravo. Watch out for those provocateurs. I was in Seattle uh, at the World Trade when they had that here. And there was so many police provocateurs. It was unreal. So what, whatever you do when you're down there, be careful of the police provocateurs. They will start fires. They'll kill somebody if they have to because they need their side to look good on this. Don't let it happen. 
You, you make sure you hold hand, hand by hand, stand there. Don't break the line. If others need to join them, please get there as fast as you can. I don't live near Missouri. Stand with them. Stand. Stand up for the future generations. Or they're going to have a boot so hard against their face, they may not even be able to breathe. Love everybody. Unite. Keep all the injustices that are happening in your heart. Pray for justice to prevail. And I mean justice means we, the natural peoples, prevail. Love you.